Thanks, guys. As you know, St. Joseph's College is conveniently located on Highway 231, which makes it a prime location for a new club on campus. St. Joseph's College is always looking for more ways to connect and to interact with the Rensselaer community. One professor on campus is starting just a club to do that. The 231 Club is a dance hall, and I got the idea from going back to seeing my grandma and grandpa dance at the 281 Club. Their dance hall was on Highway 281 in Texas, and since Highway 231 comes through Rensselaer, I thought, well, let's do the 231 Club. A friend of mine told me about this award-winning documentary that came out in 2014, and it's called Alive Inside, A Story of Music and Memory. And I watched that documentary about a social worker who went around nursing homes to give iPods to patients. And when they put on the headphones, amazing memories came back to them and flooded their memories. They, this one 90-year-old who couldn't remember anything of her childhood heard Louis Armstrong, a, a Louis Armstrong song, and she just started rattling off where she was. At 12 years old, she got a bike, and she danced, and she did this and did this. It was amazing. During the most recent meeting, Berger discussed possible logo designs, DJs, and even theme nights. But most importantly, why she wants community members to attend. If you love to dance, and if you love music, and if it pulls on that emotional string of yours to make you happy, the 231 Club is where it's going to be. We're going to be playing classic music from country to swing, Sinatra, from the 40s to the 80s. It's a great time to just be happy. Now, even though the 231 Club will be focused more on the older audience, students and faculty of St. Joseph's College are more than welcome to join the festivities in the Halleck Center Ballroom. For TV6 News on Highway 231, I'm Logan James. You